Hey guys, so it's just cream on today's show. So today I want to be talking about... So someone commented um, a few days ago about signs and symbols and hand signs and I thought what a, what a great idea for a video. So I'm going to do a video today on signs and symbols. So first of all, what is a sign or a symbol? I mean, you're driving down the road and you see a stop sign, you see, you know, traffic lights, you see someone, you know, directing traffic and they're like, you know, come, stop, so it's like, you don't see a stop sign and just go, it's a stop sign, it has a meaning to it, it has a, like, uh, instruction to it, you see a stop sign, it means you stop, you wait, you check the traffic, and then you go when it's safe, if you see someone coming like this, it means you keep driving, if you see them go like this, it means you stop where you are. Traffic lights, same sort of thing, right? So, so now I'm thinking back to where signs and symbols originate. You know, from these what they call like primitive cultures, which you look and you're like, they're really advanced. You like Egypt, for instance. You know, something everyone knows and can relate to. So, um, I. I think back to them like. Good afternoon. At four o'clock, there will be live music with Shiana, our onboard musician, uh, accompanied by Arts and Crafts for the Kids on deck nine. That's four o'clock on deck nine. Okay. So um. So. So these primitive cultures, they weren't really so primitive, right? They were advanced, they had ways of communication, they had, you know, hierarchies, they had it very organised, and it was all run by signs and symbols. People just like, just staring. No class, no class. I mean, if you're in a gang still, have some class about it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, they that the entire thing was run by signs and symbols, okay? That's how they communicated. If you wanted to tell something, someone something, you'd put a little triangle. You know, you'd put a little owl, like it, everything had a meaning. They didn't even use letters, they used signs and symbols. So, they used signs and symbols before they even used, like, writing. Like, letters, they used symbols. So, it's not too far-fetched to think that maybe there's not a resurgence of this but maybe it's been carried on from these times and people are still using them like people are still using the pyramid like a lot you look at anything like um, Google Play Google Music Google Games all that stuff they're all triangles this other stuff too right it's, it's all they're all triangles so what is what's with that Okay, and then you've got, you know, the all seeing eye of Horus was a big thing for them. Uh, and that's this. So, people like covering their eye, the one eye symbolism, could it symbolize the all seeing eye of. possibly, you know? And then look at all these people doing it. I mean, they're all famous people because easier to see them. <laughs> but um, like even normal people, I see everyday people. Like if I had a little like cam on my eye and I could show you guys. Yeah, make a bit noise. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so um, as soon as I make a video, they're just like they start. Okay, so and then I could probably show you guys exactly what I see. So I even see every day, everyday people throwing up the symbols, right? And um, I mean, it could be nothing. Okay, and the next one you see is like the triple six and the devil horns and you see people pointing like, oh it's that way. Oh yeah, excuse you, what's going on with your pinky? Like having a little cramp or something? Like what? You know, <laughs> so dumb. Someone was waving goodbye the other day like, bye and I'm like are these two little fingies having a sleep or something you know like when you think about it you're just like oh someone's just you know doing something weird I don't get it yeah exactly you don't get it 
and maybe that's how they want it. They want no one else to get it but them because they're in like a little secret squirrel thing going on. Um, so maybe, maybe they had it sorted. Like the Egyptian sort of people. They had all of it sorted and maybe it. Dude, I tell ya, he has come past like five times. He looks like a guy from a TV show I used to watch, Daredevil, uh, Wilson Fisk. Yeah, the bad guy. And I just keep looking at him and go, stop gang stalking me, dude. Can you, like, can I get gang stalked from hot guys? Nah, ugly old bald dudes. So not fair. Okay, so maybe it's not a resurgence of this. Maybe it's a continuation. But we just didn't really notice. We didn't know about it. They just weren't. Well, things are so open these days with social media, you can't hide anything anymore, like literally you can't hide anything. So, maybe it's always been this way. And, I mean, they they had, they had were in the know, you know, I mean, like they had these symbols and they used them even today, right? So just like, I was just walking past and just like, mm-hmm, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so, um... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just so funny, like once you know what's going on and people like staring at you and it's not like, at first I thought, oh these people are like checking me out and that girl must be like gay or something and then I'm like, oh she's gang stalking me, okay that's cool. Okay, I have to remember what I was saying now. So they, they had all the symbols, right, they were in the know, what did they know that we didn't, right, what was, what do they still know, perhaps? What do they still know that they're not sharing with us? You know, um, like, look at this symbol here. Now, there's this popular theory thing going around. I've got no opinions on it because I haven't even done research on it. I just heard a couple of people saying this, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Um, about like these reptilian hybrid people. I thought, well, that sounds weird, but everything sounds weird these days. Uh, um, so look at the symbol and look at, you know, like you just, I can kind of see the tail and the feet and the arms and then the weird head thing going on there. Maybe. Maybe they, because they're saying that these things, these are what aliens look like. So maybe, you know, like with the whole, um, oh, I should so remember the word, oh, the Aboriginals, um, they got this, and this name, this is what they look like, and um, they said they were like gods, and there's no other white paintings except for these, and these were made like thousands, like 20,000 years ago, these were drawn in the caves in Australia and um, it kind of looks like you do just space, hel space helmets on so you know what, what does that mean so then you see these okay sorry I'm just it's, it's terrible here the gang stalking is horrific okay so why have the they got these symbols what look like alien reptilian people why have they got that up there like you look at it and when you think about it like that whether you believe it or you don't believe it or whatever you look at it and you go that looks like a big tail at the back and that looks like a little foot and you know like that when you look at it in that way open-mindedly not that i believe anything or i'm not saying i believe it i'm just saying that this is what I can see when I look at it. And I said to my mom, I'm like, that looks like one of those reptilian people. And I was like, you're right, it totally does. Okay, so, and then you've got the, the all-knowing wise owl, and there's so many people with getting tattoos of owls in movies and film clips, it's just um, like paintings of owls, statues of owls, you know, clothes of owls, like every sort of owl you can have, they have made it and marketed it. <laughs> so this is what I'm getting at. Why are all the most popular symbols of today, all the symbols that were of Egypt two and a half thousand years ago? Okay, we're all into the triangles and the eyes and the owls, all this, and yet, that that's what they were using like 2,000 years ago so why are, the, are we still using it today is there a language that is going on that we don't know about a 
people communicating to each other through these signs and symbols, but we can't read them. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. Hey guys, so Aisha's Creed, welcome to today's show. Hi, it's Aisha's Creed, welcome to today's show. So, I would love to talk about gang stalking on Spirit of Tasmania. It has been a colossal journey. I've only been on for four hours and I am ready to jump off the boat. Wow. So, um, we haven't, like me and mum, just packed on last night, taking care of the animals, yada yada. And so we didn't sleep last night when we were just organising things. And we had to drive like two hours this morning to the boat, which you have to get there by like seven, like Mac, like the latest you can get there at seven. So we wanted to get there at about five, which we got there at about five. Here's some videos. So that was us getting on the boat. Lots of fun. Um, so we, <laughs> first of all, the people are just so rude. He's like, are you filming? I'm like, what do you got to hide, dude? Cut them off. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can't do, but people get away with it. You know, there's people are doing worse. And so they just say to you, oh, we're like, have you got any, like, AR-15s? And I'm like, okay, can I ask you, do I look like I could even carry one? Nah, probably weighs the same amount as me. And um, if you were a bad guy trying to smuggle that sort of stuff, as if you'd say yes. What a dumb ass question. Okay, so that is self Um, and then, like, do you have any knives? It's like, well, define. I, we were, we've been camping and we've got cooking knives, and they're just like, we, we said that once before, you know. Yeah, we've got cooking knives. They're like, oh, you know, they took my cooking knives off. So I'm like, are you kidding me? You just took all my, my steak knives off. Really? Mm. Okay, then, whatever. Let it go, let it go. So, apart from all the rudeness, um, so we're getting to our cabin, my point is, we're getting to our cabin, haven't slept, lots of stress, two hours in line, oh my goodness, and um, and we're like five minutes, we're asleep, and then we just hear this banging on the door, someone's knocking to get in, and it's like, use your key card number, and they're just like, oh my gosh, ah, oh, F, F, this, F, F, that. And they finally get the key card, which is like, man, it's not brain surgery. You push it in, you pull it out, it beeps, and then you open it. So, she finally gets the key card working. Slow clap. Okay, she comes in, and she's got like a couple of bags, and she's making a big fuss about things like, oh, oh F, F, F. And I'm like, like, you know, kind of under her breath, like, fudge, fudge, oh, no. Mm. And it's like, there's another girl in the room and she came in. I didn't even realize she was there. She came in so quietly. And so she'd like come in, she'd put, you gotta like attach the ladder to get on the up. And I don't attach it because when the waves come, it like rattles. So I just climb up onto the top bunk. Cause it's like four bunk, four beds, two bunks. So I'm up on the top. So she's attached to the ladder and that's really a noisy thing. And then she's climbed up there and done whatever she's done and then gone to sleep. And it's like, yeah, that's how you should do it when people are sleeping. You know, that's, um. It's a classy way to do things, but this girl had no class. So there's three of us in there just dozing away peacefully, and she's just like, oh, I don't need to find something. And she's like talking to herself. I'm like, dude, are you like waiting for one of us to reply? She turns the biggest overhead light on, and I'm like a vampire. So I'm like, Shh. I've got a blanket over my head. I'm like, okay, she's um, like trying to find an EpiPen because she's dying or something. Like, important shit, I'm thinking. Okay, so. There's um, the entrance here, and then down here are the two bunks, right? There's a little table just between the, the door and the bunks, and she's like ratting through her bag. It's a huge bag, and she's like, ratting through and there's coins and keys, and <sighs> like I need to, I can't, I can't find. It. I need, I need to, I need to find it. Um, wait, wait. Oh, imagine me losing something. And it's like, dude, you're talking to yourself. I wish, I so wish I, I was so tired. And I didn't have my phone with me, like, it was, um, I left it down with mum. Because, um, she was, she was Googling something. Anyways, we hadn't even left port yet. <laughs> we were already sleeping. So I left it with her, and so I didn't have my phone with me. And so then, I'm on the top bunk here. Mum's down here. The other lady's on the other top bunk. And then she's on the bottom bunk over here. Okay? So right in my 12, I'm, I'm like looking down at her bed i'm like on my side looking straight down at her bed so at my 12 o'clock she comes there like fudging find it and empties her bag upside 
down. I mean, this has been a 10 minute ordeal that she's been looking for something. So she empties her bag completely upside down. Everyone's sleeping. And, um, and, and she's like, I can't effing find it. And my mum just snapped at her. She's like, what the f do you think you're doing? Piss off. And it was such, it's so brilliant. Like it was just like, bam. And she's like, oh, I'll be gone in a minute. She's like, you've, you've taken long enough. You can find what you need to find outside. She hasn't come back. <laughs> okay. And so all, everyone in the room is just like, are you kidding me? Like seriously, like me and mum were eating snack bars. Like, you know, those, they're in like plastic wrappers, really noisy. We didn't even make as much noise as that. We were, we were playing cards, like the other girl was still sleeping. We're playing cards, we're looking through magazines, we're eating, and we're still not making as much noise as that. <sighs> okay, and then the other girl, um, she'd, um, it's just obviously a shared toilet in the room. Um, and she'd just gone for a, you know, two, number two, and um, everyone's sleeping, and I mean, Oh, she was not regular, I tell ya. She left the door open and the front door of the room was closed and she left the toilet door open. Mm. And we're like, can you close that? And she's like, oh, like, you can get it. And we're like, dude. Yeah. So, just disgusting, like absolutely disgusting what they do to you. What they think they're just like oh i'm just gonna do this whether they're consciously doing it or they're just like have no mental capacity that they can you know like sometimes you can feel yourself trying to be like v2k and you can go hey i can see that this is a pattern and this is not my thought and i'm just gonna push that away these people obviously don't have that strength in their mind to do this so they're just like just getting controlled by whatever is controlling them that was the cutest kid ever. It had blonde afro hair with blue eyes. And he was so cute. Oh my goodness. It was like a little baby doll. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll get a, if I can get a picture of it, I'll get a picture of the baby. Okay. Oh, she's probably like three or four, but <laughs> still cute. Um, so that's gang stalking so far. Um, what else? Just getting yelled at by the staff. Like, dude, I paid a grand, a thousand dollars, one way. They call it a cruise. I wouldn't call it a cruise, okay? A cruise is luxury. This is a bloody shithole. Oops. Um, it's an like, oh, it's, it's all-inclusive cruise. No, no, it's $12 for, like, a croissant and a coffee. Literally $12. Oh. So we brought our own snacks this time. We were smart enough to do that. This one here, there we go. Um, so we're on our way back to Tassie. And you know what, we've actually told Noah, my granddad, my best friends, you know, what's left of them. They got no idea that I'm coming back. So now we're both coming back. And so we're just gonna be like, roll up there one day and be like, hey, we're back. How long are you back for? A few weeks, don't know. 